So this is our Project Zero okay. 2.0 wrist blood pressure monitor. Okay. It is the first wearable blood pressure monitor in the world that uses the exact same technology that is already cleared by the FDA. It's a silometric, it's the same technology we've been using for 40 years. We've just found a way to miniaturize it down into something you would wear on your wrist. Okay. Now to do that, we actually really had to look at all the components of a cuff that we would use in a doctor's office and figure out how to get it down into what looks like a watch. So we had to respect the design of a watch, but make sure that we got all the components in there. So this right now, if you look underneath, is actually a cuff, just like you would find in your doctor's office, but miniaturized down to be inside of a watch band. So this does inflate. There is a pump and a valve in there that inflates that and takes my blood pressure. Okay. Now to make sure that that pressure is being forced onto your wrist, when we built the band, we put stainless steel threads into the band so that the band couldn't stretch and expand. It puts all that pressure inside so that it can help us with our accuracy. So when we look at the watch itself, it actually looks and takes time just like a normal watch would. But I would press the start stop button and it's going to give me a five second countdown. Place your watch over your heart in the center of your chest. So I would have to put my watch over my heart and I can feel it starting to inflate. And it's starting to take my blood pressure. Normally a blood pressure would take anywhere from about 30 to 45 seconds, depending on how high your blood pressure is. Okay. So now I'm going to show you my reading. Now this past year, so my reading is 113 over 85, and my pulse is 82. Now you'll notice that they're color coded. My systolic blood pressure is green. That tells me. Let me get back to that screen. So my 113 is green, which is good. My diastolic 85, which is a little elevated, probably because I'm talking to you guys. But if it were any worse, it would be red. Let me know to go talk to my doctor. Besides the blood pressure, it does also track your activity, your steps, your calories, your distance. It tracks your sleep, when I went to bed, when I woke up, how many times I got up and being restless. And then lastly, if you're going to have a watch on your wrist, one to make sure you can do email, your phone calls, and your text messaging. The reason why we put activity and sleep in there is because when you go to your doctor, and he tells you that you're hypertensive. The first thing he tells you is try and get more exercise, get more sleep, and improve your diet. So we wanted to make sure that all those things could be on your wrist. Once all that information is captured by the uh, Project Zero 2.0 heart watch, um, it can be transferred to an Omron mobile application okay. where you can store or share all that information with your doctor, uh, with a loved one, uh, but what's more importantly is you want to track your trend over time, what the changes are. Yeah. Um, we've also put a transflective display in here, so if you go outside, the light hits it, it gets very bright. Okay. But we've also built in a backlight in case you're sitting next to your bed and it's dark, that it's easy to see the screen. When, when will it get released and uh, you know, what's the price point? So just like all of uh, Armand's products, we always go through the FDA, we do our clinical studies. Okay. We publish them, they're peer reviewed by the medical community, okay. um, and then we submit them to the FDA. And it generally takes about 90 days, plus or minus, to get through the FDA. Okay. Um, so based on all of that timeline, we're thinking at the end of the year, or maybe this time next year at CS, we'll actually be making it commercially available to everybody. Okay, and do you know approximately what the price point is? Based on what we know today, um, based on the components, we're going to be in the neighborhood of about $300 as an MSRP. So this is actually a pretty big deal. If Omron successfully pulls this fitness tracker off, this will be the first wearable on the market that someone can use to track daily insights such as steps, calories, distance, and uh, all of those kinds of typical metrics that we're used to seeing, but then also bringing two wearables built-in blood pressure detection and uh, monitoring. So this would be the first time that we have that on the market market and it would really step up the game and force other wearables to figure out ways to incorporate this kind of technology into their wearable in order to stay competitive. So I don't look to see Omron compete with Fitbit or Garmin anytime soon as far as fitness wearables are concerned, but this definitely brings something new to the table and I'm glad to see it.